I know, I know, but I like well, it. Well, it'd be rude if you didn't, if you don't oh, have them. Do I'm not, I'm not really. Yeah. in the beard. I could hide all kinds of shit behind this beard. <laughs> <laughs> More food. More. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, I thought I lost. <laughs> Morning after with Nick and Big J broadcasting live from Rock you on the Range. Louder than that, dude. Oh, I, see, I told you, you needed the headphones. No, you, you gotta speak up. You gotta talk like a man. <laughs> do not fight stain. I will not <laughs> fight stain. <laughs> Let's you do that. Put a, little, I, uh, put a little nut behind it. I can do little that. Little. Morning after with Nick and Big there J <laughs> talking to Aaron and Mike from Stain. Good afternoon, boys. How are you? How are you, Bob? Good. What's going on? We're good. We're good. Thank you for stopping by, man. How is life? How are things with the with the band back together? You digging the uh, the, the gigs that you're doing? Let's get the band back together, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, it's good, man. Shows have been good. My dad's band. <laughs> Down by the river. <laughs> what, what's it like when you guys do get back together and start doing some stuff after you've been doing your different projects? Um, it's like riding a bicycle. Like, I was just gonna say it's kind of like getting back on a bicycle. I mean, it, it's a bicycle that it's the only bicycle you've had your whole life. It's very familiar. I, I mean. By the end of two rehearsals, having not played together or even thought about these songs for over two years, we we were ready to go. Bam. That's all there is to it. That's it. There you go. That's Let's do it. this. And when you guys get together and you decide you're going to do some of these shows, does that start fueling the fire a little bit? Like, hey, maybe we can come up with some new stuff. Maybe we can get back in the studio soon, something like that. Well, no, I mean, we had these offers to do these shows, and you know what? We knew that that's what it was going to be. Aaron's going to continue with what he's doing, and uh, but it's good to get back out there for a little bit. You know, we had, uh, like I said, the promoters that do these festivals came and asked us to do them, and you know what? We've always had such a good time doing them, so here we are. Yeah, indeed, and thank goodness for that. And you guys get to play the main stage before GNR. A little bit of a rush, a little bit of excitement for something like that? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we've had we've had one other opportunity to to play with Guns N' Roses and and, oh, and, so and didn't show up. Show. He didn't show I was going to ask yeah, yeah, yeah. how oh, late were they? But we now flew, we know. we flew all the way to South Africa to play a show with Guns N' Roses. Yeah. And he didn't show. Oh my That's, god. What's it like for you guys in another band when that happens? Nothing. I, I don't really just, care. You don't care. You play a different no, time or a little longer. All okay, that cool. happened was <laughs> you know I mean? Evanescence headlined the show instead of Guns N' Roses, and and they just took the whole schedule and slid it a little bit. It's still crazy, though. It's just crazy. It's crazy. I mean, but it did. I think it's, it's crazy to sit in your dressing room with your cigarette on the big, long 101 Dalmatians freaking tip. <laughs> With your cognac and a silk sipping, bathrobe, sipping your cognac in a silk bathrobe when you were supposed to hit the stage an hour before, and of the mindset of I'll hit the stage when I want to. I think that's, I think there's a lot of things that, yeah, all those people are the reason you're there and you're keeping them waiting. It's like, come on, really? Suffice it to say, we'll never have the uh, the stain doesn't show up for a headlining gig story ever. Uh, it's, it hasn't happened in 15, 16 years. Right. So I mean, I don't know. There's been never plenty of reasons. Never say never. <laughs> you never say never. But, I mean, so far, so good. I like it, man. So you guys are doing a little bit of uh, the festival stuff, and then what's what's on the the agenda? you just taking it one day at a time, doing what you need to do? Just like the TV show, dude, one day at a time. Yeah, Schneider, <laughs> man. Am I really dating myself right now? No, no, I'm a, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. That's okay, though. He had Ponderosa on in his bus, okay? <laughs> I walked him, like, seriously? How do you even find this? <laughs> TV land, man. Oh, man. Do you guys, obviously you guys are friends with one another. Do you talk about the stuff that you're doing individually? Try never you know, to talk at never. all, actually. <laughs> Who are don't you? Don't ever talk. I don't know. Maybe you don't talk. Um, you know, all honesty, and, and I'm and I'm okay with it because it, it protects what we have. It doesn't allow anything to kind of get in between that. But we talk when we need to talk, and then you know, and and we're. We're, we're everybody's friendly. Yeah, yeah. But when we go home, we go home. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't see him the whole time we're off. We live a couple hours from each other and we both have kids and we both have crazy lives of our own that we need to integrate ourselves into when we go home. And I mean, shit, old school, the bass player lives 15 minutes from me. I it, I, it had been 2 years since I had seen him when we got together to rehearse. It's just, 
We all have our own stuff going Especially on. Especially once you have kids and stuff. I mean, it's like every day it's like there's something going on. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, you know. Well, I tr- thank you. And I just like being home. I'm still talking. I, go ahead. Go ahead. Shut up. Talk all day. <laughs> I'll, I'll help. I'll gang up uh, here. Never mind. Go ahead. You can wrap it up. I no, know we're no. boring you. I'll no. be quiet. I, mean, they told I started us talking five kids. Oh, so they like, did? Yeah, yeah. Who's they? They. My Get man Ron, the, our oh. friend. Dude, we got issues. <laughs> You're fired. It's only because you haven't stood up yet. That's true. That is true. It makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> but anyways, I was just going to say, you know what? It's like when, when you're away in your home, you just want to spend as much time with the kids as possible. So anyways, we're always busy. Yada, yada, yada. Thanks for the time. We'll catch you next time. Oh, Later. Man. Well, thank you guys for sitting down and talking with us. We appreciate it more no, than you thank know, you, man. man. Seriously. Yeah, thank and you so we need, we need, you need to come back to Boise with some Aaron Lewis. And then Newstead needs to stop. Jason came and did an autograph thing. I uh, came in and he did a did. thing in the I studio. He did. I remember that last fall or something, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, we yeah. try. We need. You oh, know. that was with you guys. Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So I mean, we just that made would some be videos cool. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. But right. it's good to see you, Gay boys. Porn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is there any other? <laughs> it was hot though. It was hot though. <laughs> Our favorite kind. Thank you guys for stopping by. We Thank appreciate you guys. It so appreciate. Much. Great Stay seeing you. Again.